Hey, this is Jamie from Caps Computers, and today I'm going to help you get your Buttkicker Gamer 2 working with a USB headset on Windows without the need for paid software like Virtual Audio Cable. I'm using Windows 8.1 in this tutorial, but it should be backwards compatible with Windows Vista 7 and 8. If you're using Windows XP, unfortunately, this tutorial will not work for you. As you saw in my review, the Buttkicker Gamer 2 is not compatible with USB headsets as it needs an analog output. Personally, I don't use a USB headset, but I use this setup anyways because I want a direct connection from my digital audio converter, my desktop amp, and my headphones with the least amount of cables cluttering my desk. However, my solution to the, the solution to my problem, the solution to the USB headset problem, is exactly the same. To get this wor fix working, you'll need the 3.5mm audio cable to RCA cable that came with your butt kicker, either an onboard sound card on your motherboard like a Realtek, or a discrete sound card like a Creative Recon 3D with the drivers installed and Vista, Windows Vista and above. You want to start off by plugging the 3.5mm audio cable into your or the headphones or the front speaker port of your sound card, then plugging the RCA end into the input of the butt kicker amp. It's the white jack on the back of the amp in case you didn't know. Next, you'll want to access Windows Sound Properties. You can either use this, the speaker icon in the taskbar, which is right over here, or you can go into the control panel right over here. Now this window is going to pop up. You're going to head on over to recording and look for either what you hear, stereo mix, or wave out mix. This is a device that allows Windows to hear what is being output to your sound card. In my experience, what you hear is being used for creative cards and stereo mix for C media based sound cards. I've never actually seen wave out mix in personal experience, but it may be used in your case. You'll want to go right click it and go to properties, then select the listen tab. Tick off listen to this device and then set the playback to your USB headset. In my case it'll be the Fio X5 DAC. I'll hit OK and go back to the recording window. For most people you can set the USB headset's microphone to the default device and the default communication device without problem. However there are some sound cards that are bef that will be fussy and refuse to work unless the stereo mix is set up as the default device. In this case, just set the USB headset as the default communication device and you shouldn't have any problems with your voice over IP programs. Some of them though, you may have to go in there and set the headphone, the headphone microphone on manually. Now it's time to hop back onto the playback tab. You'll want to set the sound card as the default device. If you want to avoid your voice over IP program like Skype or TeamSpeak triggering the butt kicker gamer too when one of your really deep voiced friend talks, I highly recommend setting your USB headset as a primary communication device. You can do this by set, hitting the right click and then either set device or set as default communication device. Now it's time to go test your butt kicker. Go into YouTube and search for a bass test. If everything is set up right, you should feel the vibration from the Buttkicker Gamer 2 and hear the bass test with your USB headphones. Now, if you're still having some problems, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please like and share this video. I hope to see you soon. This is Jamie from C Capsule Computers signing off.